Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video I'll be showing you a PC built for approximately 2100 Canadian dollars, which is around 1500 US dollars. Before we get started, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss an upload. Also, all the product links will be in the description if you would like to check it out. Anyways, let's stop with the chit chat and get right into it. The first component is the CPU. For the CPU I decided to go for the Ryzen 7 3700X. The CPU is very energy efficient at only 65 watts and it can handle any gaming or productivity work thanks to the 8 cores and 16 threads, which makes this the perfect CPU at this price point. Next up is the CPU cooler. I decided to go for the Deepcool L240 to cool the Ryzen 7 3700X. This liquid cooler will allow you to overclock the CPU while maintaining a good temperature on all cores. For the motherboard I decided to go for the Gigabyte B450 Pro Wi-Fi. This motherboard has 4 RAM slots which allows for upgrades later down the line. It also has great overclocking abilities, as well as built-in Wi-Fi which will save you around $40 if you are planning to buy a Wi-Fi adapter. Moving swiftly down the list we have the RAM. I chose to go for 16GB 2x8GB sticks clocked to 3200 MHz, which is the max speed the motherboard can support. Now for storage I decided to go all SSD to keep the PC feeling smooth and new. The SSD I chose is the Crucial P1 1TB M.2 NVMe SSD. This is a fantastic budget SSD that actually has very similar performance to a Samsung 960 EVO NVMe SSD, despite being much cheaper. Moving on to the best part of a gaming PC, the graphics card. I decided to go for an RTX 2080 Super, which has fabulous performance that justifies the hefty price you are paying. This card is capable of achieving approximately 185 FPS on Fortnite at 1080p max settings and 120 FPS on GTA 5 at 1080p max settings. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative, then I would highly recommend the RTX 2070 Super, which is about 250 Canadian dollars cheaper than the RTX 2080 Super. Now onto the least important part in terms of performance, the case. I decided to go for the NZXT H510 because I think it looks great and it was actually one of the most enjoyable cases I've ever built in. But feel free to change the case to your personal choice. Finally, for the power supply I decided to go for a 700 watt 80 plus bronze EVGA power supply. This is a very reliable power supply that doesn't have colored cables so it won't ruin the looks of your PC.
And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.